good afternoon ma'am my name is praful bele and i am from college dunia.com very warm welcome to you on our interview series which is called thoughts on education where we interview various dignitaries such as the owners directors and hods of various universities and colleges before starting the interview i would request you to kindly give a brief introduction of yourself and then we'll proceed ahead with the interview ma'am okay so uh, thank you for interviewing me my name is arohi arohi khar and I'm currently heading the psychology department at the Vivekananda Education Society's College of Arts, Science and Commerce. And I am a postgraduate from MS University of Baroda. I have done my specialization in clinical psychology. And here we run a department that has, uh, of course, about me, so I'm also doing my PhD. I've submitted my thesis from GISS. Uh, that's about me. I'm also trained in certain therapies that we practice. For clinical uh, practice. Now about the department, we have a department that has both an undergraduate and a postgraduate course in psychology. Yeah, that's so that was really great to hear from your end about your experience. Now let's go to the first question of this interview series and that is what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with Vivekananda Education Society's College of Arts, Science and Commerce? Okay, that's a great question. Uh, well, the education sector, I think, is uh, is one of the most vibrant sectors. Of course, a lot is happening at the industry level, but it's from the educational institutes that uh, all our workforce, uh, all the things that can change in the nation happen from here, start from here. And also to be in touch with a lot of young minds keeps us teachers in touch with the world and things happening around. So, that's why I love the teaching sector. There's a lot you can do. Uh, you can give all the recent researches that otherwise people do not get a chance to read through the educational platform. Uh, and this interaction also helps us as teachers to grow. That's why I love this profession. And uh, I have worked at three, four places before I joined Vivekananda. And I must tell you that Vivekananda has been my best experience thus far. Because uh, here I realize we get a lot of creative freedom. So as an individual who wants to bring in different ways of teaching in the classroom, uh, experiment with this different methodologies, we are allowed that freedom. We are also looked after by uh, VES society, our management. So not just do they give us creative freedom to work, but they also look after our needs and cater to all stakeholders around. So it's a very happy environment to work in. Everybody here, the work culture, everybody wants to work. So, you know, if, if one teacher is absent on a day, three people will ask, can I take your lecture? So everybody is work oriented and students also enjoy sitting in class, interacting with teachers. Most teachers are very approachable and that I think is because of the work culture. Yeah. Ma'am, being the HOD of the psychology department, what are your roles and responsibilities towards the students? Uh, so as head, I have to look after uh, my faculty, those who work in my department and also the students who are my stakeholders. So right from deciding the timetable, uh, seeing that the workload is equally distributed among the faculty members to looking after student needs, if they have any problems, difficulties, then they come to me with those and we sort out those uh, amicably. So that students are happy, they are in a learning environment, if there are new um, experiments they want to do, different kind of researches they want to do, helping them meet the right person who can help them out. And generally to be able to um, gel well and learn well in this uh, department. Ma'am, how do you try to bring in practical approach towards the subjects and make it more industry oriented? Okay, again a very good question and I'd love to answer this because in our department, we don't just stick to what the syllabi tells us to do. We have been trying different different methods depending on which subject we are talking about. For example, in the in a paper on testing, psychological tests are brought before them. They are shown what those tests are, how they have to be administered, how they have to be scored. And since we also have a master's degree program, we also send them to hospitals where they can practice whatever they have learned. This is one part. The other is in the classroom also, we use a lot of uh, methodologies such as in the counselling paper, we will use role play. So what they have theoretically learned, they get to act out, they play the counsellor, they play the patient and see how the dynamics work out. 
we also use movie reviews we use a lot of movie screenings because there are so many films based on psychology topics so when we talk about a disorder they don't just uh, theoretically learn it they see how it displays in a patient actually so there are documentaries there are films that we use then we also record sometimes our students so when they are doing counseling they are recorded and then they are told how mistakes what are the mistakes that they have committed and this way they learn better Ma'am, what do you see as the greatest strengths of your department? I think the greatest strength of my department is that we have good faculty. Uh, we have very interested students because students decide to take psychology right at first year level. So we have committed students who are going to stick on. And since we offer clinical and counselling, and we have uh, the requisite number of psychological tests, we teach them diagnostics, we teach them therapeutics. We have uh, faculty who are experts in different uh, treatment methodologies. This is our strength, and uh, so I think students, when they walk out, they are more employable as compared to perhaps if they walked out of other institutes. Any suggestions you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Yeah, to the current youth, I'd like to say um, let's look after our mental health. We we know a lot about physical health, we know a lot about money making, but we have neglected our personal health, self care. So psychology, I think, is that stream which wants, uh, which can tell people, the youth, that you need to look after your mental health. And to aspiring students, I want to say, well, this is the field to be in because a lot of people are experiencing stress, are also becoming aware that they are under stress. So given the times that we live in, we have a dire need for psychologists. So I'd like to tell aspiring students, please look at this field. It has a lot of scope in the future to grow. Ma'am, it has been a pleasure talking and interacting with you today and listen to your views. Thank you. I thank you on behalf of the College Dunya team and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors.